South Beach by day, basketball by night. Two of Dick Vitale's favorite things. Louisville, as this is the ESPN ACC from Miami. The Cardinals come in five and one in conference, their best start, matching it in ACC history. Miami and Jim Laranega, three and three, but 14 and four overall. Big game for the home team tonight, and the Watsco Center, in which they have defended so well, will be full. Virginia 8-0, they gave up 36 last night to Clemson, 13 in the second half. They're crazy, everyone is chasing them. Really an important game for Miami. I know what you did today, you were at <laughs> South Beach, enjoyed it, now you got hoops tonight. You get a chance to watch some really, really good athletes today, including Bruce Brown from Miami. Well, he's the king. When you talk about Miami, the key for them, the catalyst to make them go is Bruce Brown. When he plays well, you just take a look at the numbers, Carl. They're, he's 11 for 42, shooting the basketball in games that they've lost in the four L's. In the other games, he's been sensational, like he was against NC State. That's the key. Watch the play of Mr. Brown. He's a driver. He's a dunker. It's tough to drive and dunk against uh, this Louisville team. Well, you know, Louisville right now ranks second in America. Block shots. Big concern with Jim Laranega. He said it's going to force us to make shots because we're not going to get much around the rim. That's a key to watch their shot blocking ability. Seven blocks a game. It is tough to drive against the Cardinals. Bunch of height on that front line. We got Mike Eads, Tim Nestor, and Jeff Clark wearing the referees' uniforms and now waiting for the ball to be tossed. A really improved player. Dewan Hewell out of Miami, Florida. He jumps for Miami and for Louisville, Ray Spaulding. And one of the keys that Dick tweeted out before the game. They got to keep Spaulding on the floor. One of those guys that have picked up fouls, and they can't afford fouls. I'm, I like the idea of you going to my Twitter. You go to Dickie V on Twitter. I know you do. I we go all, to we all do. We I, all do. I know you were hitting that Twitter today about the <laughs> Hall of Fame, baby, at baseball. Edgar hey, Martinez should have got in with those guys. That would have been nice. Four Hall of Famers, but tonight its focus is basketball. Miami really working on moving the basketballs. What are their goals tonight? Share the ball. They had 26 assists in their last win. This is Lonnie Walker. He is going to be in the NBA someday, boys and girls. A projected first-round pick, but he misses his first shot. Quentin Snyder, the senior, will do the handling of the ball for David Padgett's Louisville Cardinals. Okay, one thing about Snyder, a lot of experience. Went over the 1,000 mark, played at Ballard High School. We passed Allen Houston and DeJuan Wheat, former Louisville Stars. With two on the shot clock, a little jump hook baseline, no good. And Walker pulls it down off the Spalding miss, and he pushes, gets fouled, and he can't make the basket. He's an attacker. He likes to attack that rim. Jim Laranega in his seventh season. And to Dick's point, he said, I loved what I saw in our victory the other night. The 26 assists against NC State was the most ever in an ACC game for Miami. He told me before the game, he said prior to that, he had too much dribble and drive, not moving the ball, and not getting player mode movement. They only lost you know, that 13 point lead with about eight minutes left against Duke. Fall away for Jaquan Newton, and he gets the friendly roll, and it gives Miami the first two points of the game. They're going to get some scoring out of Newton. He's not been the scorer that a lot of people anticipated. He was my sixth man of the year. Yeah. I, I picked him last year. Only averaging eight points this season. Knocked away from Walker. And the run out, here's Newton with a challenge. No foul, rebound no good. So a couple of chances and nothing for Miami. That was Brown on the rebound. Well, you got to convert there. You got numbers like that. You got to get that transition player. B.J. King, he also wants to start to do some scoring. He pulls up and knocks it down. He's been a very streaky shooter, good athlete. They're really playing now limited in terms of perimeter shooting by playing King and Adele together. Adele's having a little conference here. Yeah, Dang Adele, number 22, defending Lonnie Walker. And now they switch off, and that's the steal by Adele. He's a talented player, having a really solid year. Three of the last five games, Carl. He's a double-double guy. Williams will launch a three, and it goes in. A rare three from Malik Williams. He's a kid that can shoot that three, though. He has that kind of ability. A lot of size, six foot, ten and a half. I think he's going to be a very good player. Young kid. 12 to 36 on the season from three-point land. Of all the big guys, he is the one they will be most comfortable with shooting. 
Walker with the penetration. Lawrence launches a three. It's off to the right, and the rebound controlled by Louisville. See, that's not a strength. That's not a strength for Miami. Shooting from the perimeter is something they're concerned about. King feeling it early, and nobody there on the offensive glass. And one thing Louisville does do is they'll crash the glass. Yeah, they're good on the offensive boards, don't they? Newton. See, no passing that time down, but the deflection, they're going to credit Huell with a bucket. So you said it earlier, Carl, I couldn't agree more. Huell is one of the most improved players in the ACC. Adele steps into a three. That's no good, and Huell with a rebound, the well, Miami native. Jim Laranegla would like to see them shooting the three. Because they're not really a good perimeter shooting team, the Louisville team. Nice good pass. pass. Deflection, good job defensively getting back. Bruce Brown pointing to himself. He had an alley-oop there for Hewlett, and instead he tried to thread the needle. As you take a look at the acting head coach, and what a job David Padgett has done as he stepped in for Rick Pitino, who, of course, was let go right be I mean, literally right before the season started. Talked to the AD before the game, Vince Tyra, and he said really love to see the way he's maturing in each game, a little bit more confidence. Chris Tough Likes, job. by the way, is into the game. Everybody likes when Chris Likes comes in. He's about five foot seven and a half inches tall, and he really can get it going. Keep an eye on him. He's number two. A lot of dribbling from Newton, and he misses another little bunny. Tell you one thing, he's being aggressive offensively. He's just coming up a little short. Adele, we got a lot of one on one play so far tonight. Yeah, too much. Not sharing the ball, not moving the basketball like both coaches would like to see. Foul on Anthony Lawrence. Junior out of St. Petersburg, Florida, and sends Dang Adele to the free throw line, a 79% free throw shooter. Adele, born in the Sudan, he moved to Australia as a child. Preseason all ACC second team player to Dick's point. He plays about 33 minutes a game, leads the team in minutes played, double digit points in 21 of his last 22 games. Being a complete package, really played exceptionally well. Be tough to keep him off the old ACC team, really. He's having that kind of year. Team really playing well. They've won four in a row now. Won two on a row against Florida State. on a 28-game win streak. They beat him in the last second. And some block shots by Mahmoud. Three of them in the last 50 seconds. Ewell going one-on-one. -on -one. Works his way in. He misses. And Miami cold shooting to start. They're getting good looks inside, Carl. But just coming up empty. No one on Williams will try it again, and he can't come up with anything. Offensive rebound. That put back and up and in. See, that's their one of their strengths. Get on the offensive glass. Ray Spalding, 67, now 68 offensive rebounds, which is amongst the best in the nation. Hangs with it after the ball was blocked, and Jim Laranega, I don't think he's going to be pleased with the lack of passing that was such an infectious part of their success in their last oh, game. Oh, what a screen. Spalding got caught. It looked like he reached his elbow up and banged into Likes, and Likes limping a little bit. 9-6, Louisville on top. Back with Nick Vitale and the ACC on ESPN. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Sport Clips Haircuts. Check in online now. Visit sportclips.com slash check in. Land Rover, above and beyond. And Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Apply simply, understand fully, mortgage confidently. So the head coach, the AD, get fired. So David Padgett becomes the interim head coach on September 29th. And since then, a 15-4 overall record. They had a terrible 29-point loss to Kentucky. The Natives were getting real restless, but since then, they've been on fire. A 5-1 record in the conference. Three consecutive wins. He's done a terrific job. There's a good interior pass and great help with a box block from Ray Spaulding. I tell you, Spaulding's a guy that can't block shots. He's also fourth in the conference and rebounding. 9.2 rebounds a game. You know, that game against Kentucky, they could have folded, yep. could have rolled over. I give them credit as a coach, David Padgett. He didn't let them lose any kind of confidence. They regrouped, and they've been tough ever since. That game might have been a game where they got to grow up a little bit. Kentucky was scintillating in that game. Sam Wardenberg is now in. He's 21 for Miami. He picks up the rebound off the miss. Both teams well under 50% from the floor, and the half-court offense has been a challenge really for both. They like to get out and run. 
they not be able to get transition. Both clubs doing a great job getting back. So execution in a half-court game is going to be important. Tough inside pass knocked away by Louisville and another turnover. Great job with a deflection on post entry. Third turnover, Adele the drive, the follow, loose ball, Wardenberg had it, lost it. Sloppy, sloppy. Schneider right by likes all the way to the hole, can't get it to go. The offensive tip is good, and they are dominating now on the glass inside. Was that Spalding yes, with that left-hand was. tip? Great tip, great agility, very mobile. It might be a first-round draft choice. He's got that kind of ability and potential. 11-6, slow start for Miami. Likes launches a long three, and that's way off the mark. He shot that down from South Beach, baby. <laughs> shot that from Prime 112. He's at Miles Shevitz's place. Unbelievable. Look at Likes to try to post him inside. They have to give him some help. Fall away. Adele looks for the friendly roll. Wardenberg there for the rebound. You know, Adele, very good player, Crop. But right there, you got to go to the basket yeah. on the little guy. Not fade away. Shoot a fade away jump shot on a guy 5'6. Brown, one on one, takes it hard to the hole, and he's going to get fouled. He got him on the head. Call the foul on Malik Williams. Take a look at Ray Spaulding's work on the offensive glass. Well, as you said so well, Carl, he is tough on the offensive boards. As the drive by Steiner. Now watch him attack the rim. The left hand. He's long and lean, and the left handed tip. And, and it goes down. That, in fact, was Malik Williams with a tip in. Spalding has been active, though. You take a look at the numbers this year and last, and it is remarkable. He's basically doubled up on all he did last season. Malik Malik up, wait, I got an only restaurant reference out here. Malik Williams is going to be a really good Malik. player. He's going to be a good player. It really is. Very quiet in this place right now. Team hasn't played well. No reason to cheer very low. We got our buddy Eduardo Perez, of course, a Miami resident, to be with us on baseball this season. He's in the house. Spoke about baseball. I talked to our new colleague on baseball last night on the phone, Mr. Alex Rodriguez. Very excited to be joining us. I would rather be talking to Jennifer, but I talked to Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say, is Jennifer available? There's Likes with a steal, uh, and they're going to get Snyder with a foul. Nice job by Likes, who has really been the sort of star of stars for this Miami team. I'll tell you one thing, right there was a good foul by Snyder. Yeah, he had a real good foul. Let him take the ball out of bounds because he had himself a layup. 5'7", 161 is Chris Likes. 5'7"? Yep. I've got to measure him right now. You I will bet him shorter than that. Oh, come on. He's like five, 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 six. He's it's right like, here. He can hear you. It's like the little guy that plays baseball with Houston. Uh, two men. There's no way they list him at what, five, seven. He's about five, five. He's about five, five. He's like an MVP, too. He's not five, five with a bats in his no. hands. Adele. Great layup by Dang Adele. He used that rim to help prevent the shot from being blocked. You know your basketball. He did, Coach. He, Coach Ravage. He used the rim really well to shield off the block shot, but he went coast to coast. Did a great job attacking the rim. They bring in Ibuka Izundu for more size. He's 15 for Miami, out of Charlotte, North Carolina. You say Adele right here. There he is driving at a goal. Quick. Can you see the hand? You, know, you mentioned bringing in Izuna. He had a heck of a game against NC State. It was a career game for him. Seven of seven in that game, and all seven buckets were within two feet of the basket. Well, he made him count. He converted. And that's a good win for them because when you look, wow, wow. Look out. Good hustle by Likes to get the ball in. They've also brought in DJ Vasilovich, and he's a three point shooter. He hasn't made or really gotten a lot of open shots, and we'll see if they can free him up. He's number one. He's being guarded by Ryan McMahon right now, who just came to the game. Five on the shot clock, like slow. Oh, three, he got fouled. fouled. Oh, that's a bad, bad play. That's a bad play. You don't put a guy shooting the ball 30 feet away from the goal. Unbelievable. Darius Perry with the foul. Likes will go to the line shooting three. And they got a chance to make this just a two-point game. As bad as it has been for Miami, they can cut it to a two when we come back. 
Bumpy start, Miami 2 of 12 from the floor. They're 0 of 3 from three-point land, although he was just fouled, Chris likes. He'll shoot three free throws. The telling number, and we talked about this at the top, you know, their magic number for assists, they believe, we're going to get 16 a game. When they get 16 a game, they're 5 and 0. They don't have an assist yet. They haven't shared the ball. They've been driving the basketball. Likes, who's just a 65% free throw shooter, though, got a start in the last game because Walker's back was having spasms, and he had a terrific game, did Chris Likes against NC State. The other freshman here, Lonnie Walker, who is obviously a fabulous player, but they haven't, and I'm not sure we've seen the real Lonnie Walker yet. He had a torn meniscus surgery in July. There was a, probably a lack of confidence coming back, uh, the coach said before the game, and now he's starting to feel himself. He's a fabulous story. We'll get into Lonnie Walker and what he means to Reading, Pennsylvania as we continue through the course of this game. They're very proud of him up there. Turnover. No There's a pass. There's an assist, and it was from Walker to Hewell. Walker to Hewell. Hewell running the court really well. Sloppy play right there by Louisville in the backcourt. They do like to say, Lights comes into the game and things happen positively for Miami. They really do. He makes things happen. McMahon went for an alley-oop. Uh, Mahmoud wasn't there to pick it up. The fifth turnover for Louisville. And Padgett's really telling Mahmoud that was your fault. Right there's the steal. I watch a little kickoff. Walker right there to Yule. Yule gets the layup. The transition play. This guy makes things happen. But he's on a floor of Lights. I mean, he's quick. Only problem is he wants the ball in his hands a little too much and everybody else stands around and takes pictures, girl. Walker hard to the rack and he gets it to go. And Lonnie Walker starting to heat up here for Miami. After their only lead was 2-0, they're back on top now for the second time by one. Well, he showed his athleticism and his strength right there. Maybe that two helped him as well. <laughs> I love that too. I wish I could have any kind of hit. Two good shooters in right now for Louisville. McMahon and Wara. And we're going to get a foul on the floor against Huell. Hey, looking forward to Saturday, ESPN, the fifth annual Big 12 SEC Challenge. It starts at 2.15. That's when Trey Young, and what a different guy Trey Young was last night. Nine shots, and he had 26 points in a win over Kansas. That's Oklahoma, Alabama, 4.30, A&M and Kansas, Kentucky, West Virginia at 7, and of course, college game day will be in West Virginia, Morgantown, for that one. Where are you, Saturday? What do you I'm got? I'm on Saturday, Florida. I'm Baylor, 12 new. Big game. Should be a real good game. Gators have been tremendous. Yeah, they won eight on the last nine. They win it again tonight against South Carolina. A Big 12 and the SEC won the story in both conferences. SEC, the most improved conference in basketball. Very deep. You take a look at some of the numbers. Projected eight bids. And Lonnie Walker's on fire. Eight projected NCAA bids, according to Lenardi. We'll take a quick timeout, Miami, thanks to Walker on a 9-0 run. All right, I'll tell the story over that. Bonnie Walker's been on fire just to the three. Dick mentioned how popular he is in Reading, Pennsylvania. He was one of those who grew up with uh, a parent who made him sit there when you come home from school and spend one hour reading or writing before you go outside and he has taken that mentality with him to college there's a picture that hangs in every public school in Reading, pennsylvania of lonnie walker going in for a dunk and the writing a letter he had written in high school as he comes up with a steal here extolling the virtues of learning basketball art or chemistry lonnie walker is way bigger than just basketball yeah, he really is. He's making the game of life. I always tell young kids, Carl, you sort of transition off the steal right there, turnover by McMahon. He saw the score. I always tell kids, read, read. Yep. Find something you love to read because that gives you power. Knowledge gives you power. Nice play right there, coming out the ball. Ended an 11-0 run. We don't see enough movement without the basketball. Everybody wants to put the ball to the deck, drive, drive, drive. You gotta share the ball, you gotta pass, get movement. Walker, he got fouled again on a three-point shot. Well, Dave Patch has gotta be upset about that. Two situations, foul and dies, being challenged with three-point shooting. Unbelievable, putting them on the line for three. As the steal right now is walking to transition. Finds the open man, get a little layup on the inside, on the tip it.
first free throw is good. So Jim Laranega was comparing Walker, and he said, I've never, think about how long Laranega is coached, Warriors coach. He said, I've never had a player like Lonnie Walker, and he meant that off the court. He's never had a guy like that. Laranega once like recruited Stu Jackson. He's been around. No, I'll tell you what, Jimmy was ecstatic when he got a commitment from him. Jimmy bought a house, which I could probably think a baseball would throw to where I live from my house, where he plans to go once he retires. Snyder buries a three. They needed that. Snyder showed his veteran ability right there. Comes up with a big play and a big shot. Played two guards down out there, can handle the ball and shoot it. Great pass, Lights to you, and he throws it down. Chris Lights continues to do everything for Miami. Two-man play right there, Lights penetration, good vision, finds the open guy going right down the gun of the defense. Played a lot better now. No doubt. Played a lot better now. We're going to get a cylinder call there on Vasilovich. He crowded too much. Well, McMahon's going to crowd him on a lot of people because he's had a really good year for Louisville. Coming off the bench, shooting threes. People know that he can shoot the three. That's his strength. The only guy, he's from my area, from Sarasota, the only coach I was able to get to come to see him play was Rick Pitino. And Rick at the time said, he reminded me of a young version of a kiddie coach to Kentucky, Travis Ford. High compliment. Good hustle by your guy, McBeth. He went down on the floor to get it, and they're going to get a foul on Newton, who just re-entered the game. Crowd doesn't like that. What sights how Logan gets to the ground here. Yeah, look at him Yeah, He's down to start with. Nice little bounce pass, dropped it like a dime. You know, I mentioned Nick Petito coming to see him play. I will tell you this. In my 39 years, four decades, I haven't seen many coaches any better at practice than Patino. He was unbelievable, motivating, inspiring, teaching. And it's funny you say that because the players now with Hadgett as a coach, and of course they all experienced uh, the, the non-freshman, what a Patino practice was like. He was two to two and a half hours, sometimes 245. Hadgett's more in the two to 210 range. And the players it's different, you know, it's not like they're judging, and, but they say it's different. And I think a player generally, you take the 210 over the 250. Well, you got to be, you know, yourself as a coach. Yep. I mean, Dave Pat just not to scream or yell at the guy that Rick Pitino was, but Rick Pitino was so intense and such a winner. You can't question his ability to win because the guy was unbelievable. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. And I really firmly believe he would be back coaching some I really believe that. Might be the NBA, but he'll be back coaching. Brown picked up that last foul for Miami. Ewell was there as well, but they called it on Brown. And he's got Mahmoud on him, so a mismatch here. He tries to blow by him. And that's Ewell. They're going to call goaltending. It was still in the cylinder. Good call by Huston. Real good call. Internationally, that would count, Mr. Ravage. It doesn't count here in the USA. Definitely interference up there. As you are, look at you I'll tell you one thing. What an improved play. It was close. It was close. That was close. But it was a good call. Snyder, blow by, let And some traffic underneath, so Spalding couldn't get it to go. He had no angle to shoot that basketball. No angle whatsoever. He's got an angle right here. Much more Miami speed. They want to try to push it and then kick it. They just have to make those shots. McMahon looks at a three. He buries it. Rainbow three from Ryan McMahon. Can't give him open looks because he'll make the open look. If he can square his body and get the open look, play the Carnamoni High School, didn't have one scholarship. And I begged about 30 schools. I was sending videos. The only one was Rick Patino to send an assistant, Mike Milano, to look at him. You were all over, huh? It's not like you don't know basketball. Well, How come nobody else would listen? Nice size, yeah. size, they all had guards and gear. Look at Chris Lights. Walker, tough shot. Online at Lonnie Walker. Very easy. Right. Lonnie Walker show. He's got a name of a storm. Lonnie Walker yeah, is a name of a storm, <laughs> Carl Ravage. It's a name that belongs in headlines. Well, for the things he does on and off the court, he's a star. He's got 10 now. Tough shot by Spalding with the left. Spalding's got world of potential. World of potential. First of all, he can't teach that size. 
all of a sudden, after slow starts for both offenses, they're starting to heat up here. Huell lost that one and no foul. It just uh, fell off his hand. So that's going to be Louisville ball. Here we go, a little Lonnie show right now. Lonnie Walker, baby. Look at square that ball. I love that dude, baby. There it is. Nothing but nylon. Yes, sir. Lonnie. Adnan Burke alongside Dallin Cuff, Upton EO in South Carolina and Florida. Here it's Ever Kulichop for three. Big shot for Kulichop. They lead the league in three point percentage of 40%. They've only made, though, 30%. South Carolina shooting 55% from deep. They've had 10 threes. Filling it up there with the numbers. Nats on the SEC network. Also, Marquette and Xavier. It's all Xavier up by 20. Baseball Hall of Fame induction. Back to a couple of Hall of Famers in Carl Ravish and Dick Vitale. Oh, the basketball, baseball reference from Adnando. Sundance sick, though, but now bouncing back. <laughs> Baylor and Florida kick it off at noon Eastern as our Big 12 SEC Challenge early games. Yeah, we can't wait to get down to Bob Bushusen and I. And Scott Matthews and Benusen and Allison Williams. Should be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Snyder in and out, so he can't get his outside shot going. And after starting two for 12, Miami is six of their last eight. Let me get a little bit more ball movement, Carl. Little player movement, ball movement does a wonders for your offense. So it's likes back on the floor. You almost want to do a plus minus with likes. I, tonight it's certainly in the plus column with his uh, play. Yeah, he makes things happen. Quick, penetrator, becomes contagious to everybody on the floor. He's always looking for that gap and see. He's going to take a long one. And it goes! Oh, Ronnie oh. Walker and likes have something going out there. The pair of freshmen. Shot that one, baby, from down there in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, wow. He gave him a uh, piggyback ride. His lights went up, and Mahmoud had him on his back for a while. You got about five, seven, and seven feet for those two combined. They live right here now. You're going to watch this range. Look at that range. Are you kidding me? He's zoning. He says, give me a shoot right over the top of the zone. He shot it over the top of the zone from Fort Lauderdale where all the boys are. <laughs> <laughs> that's Trey Young. That's that's Logoville where Trey, he just shot that. Trey ball. Young has been absolutely sensational. The only thing I would say is he's got to work a little bit more on shot selection and reduce his turnovers. But he is the best and most talented I've seen in many, many years. Well, a major step last night, right? I mean, yeah, that was nine shots. Nine shots, 26 points, to nine assists. The 39 shots, the 48. All right, so likes and McMahon, they're one on one. Likes penetrating, and he realized I got a wall here in Mahmoud, so we'll start again with nine on the shot clock. Brown, he'll kick it. Likes is going to have to shoot it, and he gets McMahon off his feet. Can't get it to go. No foul. The crowd wanted a call. Crowd gets really excited every time the rock's in his hands. Good interior pass, falling to Mahmoud, and it hangs on the front of the rim and falls. Really good pass to Ray Spalding. So one thing, Mahmoud can block shots. That sequence against Florida State, they won that game, broke the 28-game home winning streak. He blocked three in the last 50 seconds in a two-point game. They got three blocks tonight for one of the best teams in the country that way. And likes inside, good play. Once he saw Mahmoud on him, he got it to the big fella who cut that Zibuka is in new. Say one thing, lights great vision, boy. He always knows where everybody is on the floor. Oh, Lewis worked on his back to the basket game, and that's a pretty little left-handed layup. Nice when you get a big guy like that off the bench who can come in as a backup. This is a good Louisville team, a lot of potential. I remember talking to Rick Patino before the season. He said he really liked the potential of his team. Walker challenging, and he missed it too hard off the window. And we're going to get a foul on the offensive glass from Izundu. Good one so far. Under four, 31-30. Miami over Louisville. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by the Capital One Venture Car. Earn unlimited double miles on every purchase, every day. What's in your wallet? And Continental Tire for what you do. Adnando with Tom Green going big time. Love that. Looking forward to our halftime report. We've got 3.43 to go here. 
Top Korean, one of my neighbors, too. They all like to come down. Are you going to come down to beautiful Lakewood Ranch? Are you buying these houses oh. for everybody? I mean, seriously. What am I doing? Are you going to do the down payment, and I'll come down there? Come on, Ron. I told A-Ron last night. A-Ron, hope they left some cash for me after what you got. Well, we got a whole baseball reunion down here. we got Eduardo Perez. Jess Mendoza's in the house. He's uh, down here to talk to Jose Altuve. Oh, really? Jose's in the house? No, he's not in the house. Uh -huh. Mendoza's in the house. He's in his house. <laughs> He has move, does he move in next to you, too? <laughs> little <laughs> Nacho. He can move anywhere he wants. Hey, right here, little Nacho. Two, so. one. Oh, Walker missed one. It's not the good shot out of a timeout and a free throw. That's not the shot they wanted. Obviously, yeah. he's coming down to the shot clock. They're going to try to give him advance some looks here. You got Walker playing him good athlete. Make it tough for him to get open looks. Mood against Wardenburg. That's a tough shot. Spalding there for the rebound. Snyder, three. Nope, that's off. That was off. Shoots left his hand. From a Ballard High School superstar. Just a Kentucky basketball. High school produced a lot of good players there, including Allen Houston, as I said earlier, and Dewan Wheat. This guy takes over, man. This light skin. He really, he's in charge. He's the little general out there. 2-3 zone here, action yeah. from Louisville. They're matching up out of the car. Likes to Yule for the flush. They got that really well. Yule spots the opening in Seaman Ed zone, slides right down the gap of it, and Likes with the great vision just drops it off though for a layup. Likes says, you know, I'm lower to the ground. It helps me with my speed. And you get in the ACs, you get all these big guys. It's easy for me to maneuver around them. on the shot clock, McMahon dumps one down low, and here's Spalding doing some work. And the bucket. Great footwork right there by Spalding. Great footwork. You can see they work on those post moves. I know they did that in the past, and I'm sure they continue. As David Patcher was a pupil of Rick Patino's, he's right here to watch great footwork. A lot of guys have walked in this situation. Great up and under. Wow, did you make that move? I want to see you do that. With nobody on me? <laughs> <laughs> Seven points, ten rebounds. Really good first half after the missed free throw from Ray Spalding. Spalding very agile, very active. Wardenburg getting a lot of minutes due to some of the foul trouble that Miami is in. And Brown didn't get it to go, but he got fouled. He got fouled, but keep this note. In the games they lost, he was 11 for 42. He's not had a great first half. Brown. Second foul on Spalding. He's prone to make fouls. He's got 63, about twice as many as anybody. All right, we're going to see the Rockets. That means Harden CP3 take on Boogie Cousins, Anthony Davis, and the Pelicans. How about the game that Boogie Cousins had the other night? That was 40 something and 20 some Silly minutes. numbers. Oh, crazy. 70 I'm Eastern ESPN on the ESPN app. I'll tell you one thing. If they had a little more better card play to help Holiday out there, they could be special because Anthony Davis and Cousins are incredible. Those are the kind of players, though, that John Calipari had in the past. He has very good players. Let me tell you this. Everybody said, oh, he's being out-recruited by Duke for this. Give me a break. There's 350 schools that wish they could have the talent that John Calipari gets at Kentucky. Looking for a call in the SEC championship with you this year. Will Kentucky be in that championship game? Will they be that good by then? I would never count them out. John Calabrese said his best one is a chip on his shoulder. And right now there's a little chip on his shoulder. Dang, Adele for three. Louisville with a minute 15 on the clock and a two-point lead in the first half. Tell you, Adele, what an all-around player. Really is. Can score in many ways. Likes tricky dribbles there by McMahon. Here's Walker with 10 on the shot clock. We're in that zone. Match up. Long one and short rebound by Huell. One on three. Here's Walker. You can see he had a drive in his mind, and he gets it to go. Lonnie Walker. There are many that can make that play. This guy's a PTP, baby. This diaper dandy is special. If it weren't for injuries, as Carl alluded to earlier, he's had a number of injuries, including knee surgery. This kid is special. Look at that drive. Strong, physical, aggressive. It's like you, man, with baseball tonight, how you're aggressive. And you lay it on the line. Never shut up. Force the issue. Jim Laranega said Lonnie Walker, Ray Allen.
Wow. That's a, well, Ray Allen is a better long-range shooter. He Ray thinks Allen. that he's got that type of ability, that type of ceiling with his shot. But you're that's, right. Ray Allen's a Hall of Famer. A really a Hall of Famer. Such a great long-range shooter. One of the best ever shooting three in the NBA. McMahon a kick. Williams, that's way off. But uh, Mahmoud there to lay it in with a left. For the offensive rebound for Louisville. It's a hope that Mahmoud's really giving up a solid performance off that bench. Mahmoud and Spalding the story for Louisville and so far for Miami. It's been Likes setting up either Huell or Lonnie Walker. And Likes and Walker both on the bench now. Ten to go in the first half. Trying to match up here. Gordon Burke follows his shot. He's got to get it off with two seconds. One second. Blocked by Mahmoud. He has great timing this block shot. Good half. Real good half. Louisville up by one, and they'd be up by a lot more if it weren't for that guy. Lonnie Walker, he's got 13. You can tell he's a little tired. That's the score at the half. It's a one-point game, and now we send it back to the Sundance Kid, Adnan Burke, Dallin Cup. Entertaining first half after a slow start, and we are now grooving here. Louisville 38, Miami 37, as the ACC on ESPN continues. Uh, joined by my buddy Dick Vitale, Carl Ravitch, playing a little wounded, a little torn rotator cuff on the left. Hand. But we're going to massage that bad boy right through here, my man. You're here, and this is a good one. Let's see if they can continue the hot shooting in the second half. Well, you know, certainly Walker was tremendous in Spalding, and only 10 rebounds. He was really a heck of a player for Louisville that first half. Good first half. I think both clubs at times a little bit out of sync, but really I thought the play of Walker, he made some sensational plays, showing why Jim Laranega is so high on the kid from Reddit. Projected first round pick if he decides to go. We've talked so much about his education and his reading and his writing and his poetry and all that. Perhaps Lonnie Walker says, I'm going to focus on education for another year. Nine point season tonight already, 13. Some balance going on the other side. Louisville, a couple of guys with eight points. Uh, Mahmoud had eight points. He also had Spalding with the seven and Deng Adele with eight. That's Spalding really with those 10 rebounds and was three for five on the inside. <laughs> Chris Likes will say spark plug off the bench and start second half on the bench. The point guard for Miami. Schneider one of six in the first half, and that's important for Louisville. They got to get him to make shots. And right there was a good 15-foot shot. Got himself space with a little ball fake. He's a veteran player. He knows how to play. I know David Padgett's done one heck of a team job with this team, especially we talked about earlier coming off that 90-61 blowout. Uh, Newton with a ball fake and blocked by Ray Spalding. Spalding rotated over. you got to be a coach. When your team gets blown out the way they did, I don't know what, it was a 90-69. It was a blowout by Kentucky. A rivalry game is the block shot from Spalding. But they had to regroup, and he did a tremendous job. I think a lot of people thought that they would fall big time to the young and experienced coach. That was a great sign to me that he has coaching ability. He said he would give his team a gold medal for effort. And there's some effort on the defensive side with the steal and turnover. Miami doing a great job in defensive transition, really minimizing the number of times Louisville can get out and utilize their athleticism. Smalding's got a couple of inches on Lawrence who blocked that shot. Let's go back to Patrick for a second. This is obviously an interim job. He knows that. Uh, yet he's aspiring to be a head coach. I don't know what the numbers are, but what do you think the chances are, given some modicum of success, he becomes the full-time head coach? Well, I think a lot depends on what they do with the athletic director job as well. That's a job that's got to be filled full-time. There's another tip on the glass. Let's put it this way. He's doing the right thing. Just coaching the best he can, doing the best possible job. Players like him. They're responding to him. All the coaches I talked to throughout basketball have sung his praises. But let me tell you, it's not easy replacing if you come there to replace a Hall of Fame coach. Blake Williams with a tip in as you take a look at Hatchet on the sideline. You watch him during practice. He looks like he could still play. And round off the front of the rim, no good. He was like the second best player in high school when he came out of high school. You know who's number one? Guy was a pretty good player. He scored his 30,000th 30, point the other day. LeBron James is number one. Snyder. 
trapped underneath. Brown with the block. Here's Williams, and that ball is deflected out of bounds. He was recruited by all the big schools. The other challenge that Paget had, I mean, he literally took the job for about three weeks. He did everything by himself. Uh, he brought over Hollis, who was looking for a job. Trent Johnson over there, who he played with his son. Trent actually was a guy that recruited him as well. So he surrounded himself quickly with guys that were, in a sense, free agents. And quality guys. Yeah. He got himself real. Trent's a quality coach, been a number of places from Stanford to LSU. I mean, he's just a quality guy. And the same with Greg Paulus. I've always been a great fan from the days I met him when he played for Coach K down at Duke. Good move by Adele. Then he hung, and he got it to go after Brown went for the block. Can't Good start what, for Louisville. Can't teach what he just demonstrated right there. The ability, as you said so well, Carl, to hang in the air like that. Good time out there by the veteran Jimmy Laranega. They need that T.O. You're going to win on your home floor. They lost here last Wednesday to Duke at a 13-point lead. you got to win at home in conference play. Does Larinaga go to likes after this timeout? We'll see when we come back. Hanging and hitting, dang Adele. And it starts at noon. We look forward to that. We get a good one here in Louisville. Off to a very good start here to start the second half. No substitutions for Larinaga. Now Lonnie Walker with three on the shot clock. We'll have to launch from the corner. No good. And the rebound loose. Yule. Oh, well, he got fouled, but he can't get it to go. Yeah, Yule comes up with that offensive rebound. Gives him an opportunity to go to the free throw line. You know, you mentioned that back matchup, and you think about the Big 12 and the SEC. The SEC has been absolutely chaotic. Who would have ever thought Auburn would be as good as they are? I'm going to just say this, though, Carl. Think about it. As I look at these two teams, yep. when the scandal came out in terms of the FBI report, both these clubs have been mentioned in it, but nobody was indicted, nobody was charged, nobody got got arrested like at some other schools where assistants were arrested at Auburn at uh, Arizona yeah, but we did uh, have a, we did have a coach fired and an AD fired yeah, yeah we had a coach fired and an AD fired the bottom line is what I'm trying to say is the NCA could be totally embarrassed if one of these quality teams get to the final four where the conversation would be with the media hey you guys are here, but the NCAA obviously is going to investigate what's transpired that was reported, and one of you could be loose, go on sanctions big time, and win the title. That'll be ugly at the final four. It would, but that's beyond anybody's control with the FBI working at its own pace, and nobody controlling the outcomes of games except the kids on the court. But you're right, it's a possibility. I just think that the NCAA has got to move a little quicker and come up with some decisions as to where these clubs stand in terms of some of the reported items that were out there. They're waiting for the FBI, though, to close the thing. door. Yeah. That thing's been silent. What's, what's going on? Oh, come on, All right, the FBI, they take their time. They do things silently as Newton goes to the hole, and he got fouled, so he'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Well, you know, Newton really as a kid was so great off the bench. Come out of Philadelphia, played at the same high school as Quade Green. Green plays from that of Kentucky. I'm telling all the people out there writing Kentucky off, they better not write them off totally. Because there's one thing, they got talent and they're well coached. And they're look great fans that are going to follow them. I'm telling you, it's not a vintage Kentucky team. Let's be real. It's not one of those teams with the Cousins, the Walls, and the Davises. But it's still a team that's got quality. You don't beat this club by like they did 90 to 69 by 29, some yeah. players. What's 29? 29 90, points. That's a big foul there. Spalding goes to the bench. He's got three on him now with 16 to go. They're going to miss him inside. And what was my tweet earlier today about Mr. Spalding? You said it. Got to stay on the floor. Gets Pretty obvious trouble. he does get in foul trouble. He's got 63 personal fouls coming into the game, like twice as many as anyone else on his team. Well, the one thing they got is he got to come off the bench, though, with size. But moves can help them big time. Good defense there by Walker, who stood up. And now the crowd gets into it with five on the shot clock, and they're trapping out top. Adele's going to have to launch. No good. Oh. And a box out by Huell. Great effort right there. Great effort by Miami defensively as a team. Jim Larnick is going to be real pleased with that effort. Nice Walker, drive. Pretty drive. Big with time. The left. He's big time. Come on, Carl. He's big time. He's very big time. He's, uh, he's big time. This guy is special. Explosive. Athletic. If he didn't have those injuries, we'd talking a lot about him. 
There's some great diaper dandies this year. Think about Bagley and certainly think about the best of the best, Trey Young. Think about this kid. As he said, I'm just a kid Damn. from Reading, baby. Just a kid from Reading. Been a game of spurts here in Miami, the Wasco Center, where the Hurricanes have won 33 of their last 36 games. They're on a 6-0 run, so Coach Laranega's team has got themselves right back in it after a one-point halftime deficit. Their team of spurts, and the game with uh, Duke was a perfect example. They were on a big spurt to take a 13-point lead, and then Duke scores 18 in a row. Good job by Snyder and Mahmoud out of the break. Hey, there's an example. Two experienced players, veterans, know where each guy's on the floor, know what they're trying to do. That's no accident that two-man play you just them show. Uh, he's zone. He's in the zone up here. Two, three, right down Brown the gap. Step right through it through the alley-oop to you. That was so easy. It was too easy. Nobody moved, there's no movement in that zone, just throws the little lob right over the top, and Yule is a finisher. Chris likes getting ready to step back in for Miami. That means energy, that means quickness. Mahmoud and Yule. Ball was deflected away, and the shot way off. And there was still about seven on the shot clock before that one was taken. Not a good shot right there, baby. That was air ball all the way. Newton has oh, a lane. Outside. And he got fouled again. He did a great job attacking that gap. He saw a seam and he just attacked. He just went there explosively. All right, this is a, a reminder that Saturday, the fifth annual Big 12 SEC Challenge, Oklahoma, Alabama, that's the 215 game. Dick, of course, got Florida Baylor. That starts at noon when it all kicks off. 4.30, A&M has been such a disappointment this year given their talent. They take on Kansas, who just lost last night in Kentucky and seventh-ranked West Virginia in Morgantown. Another test for Coach Calipari. All three games on the ESPN app. Coach Laranega said even today, talking about the ACC, usually it's really hard to win on the road. He said this year it's really hard to win at home, and Florida just learned that lesson tonight. Yeah, the Gators got beat today by South Carolina. Showing again in the SEC the wackiness of it all. That conference is back. I talked to Mike Anderson the other day from Arkansas had a good win at double overtime went over Georgia. He said this is back with the depth and strength like it was in the mid-90s. Well, Chris Light's back in the game and a little full court pressure applied. Now they settle back into a man-to-man. -man. Likes and Snyder. And Snyder blew right by him and got an easy two. Snyder won that battle right there. He beat him with a good first step to the goal. Again, experience against the young kid. Took advantage of him. Now they go back in the matchup. Can't let him throw a lob over the top of the defense. See right there, they found a little opening in that zone. And Mahmoud just stood there and he had nowhere to go. Did Huel, so a turnover. Well, uh, Mahmoud, one of the best shot blockers in the conference. Snyder stepped into it. That was a really good pass by McMahon who allowed him to lean and step into that shot. Yeah, they, they really play well together. When those two run the floor, a lot of positives happen. Bob Valvano is doing the game here at the V Show on ESPN Radio. He does it for Louisville. He said those two really make things happen together on a perimeter. Dwayne Sutton, 24 in the game for Louisville. Got him able to walk right there. Likes nowhere to go. He's got Walker, and we got seven on the shot clock. Walker got hit, no call. Should have had a whistle right there. There was no doubt it was contact. Reset the shot clock. Likes, oh, how about the step through? But boy, did they convene on him, and two guys there to block it. We're going to get a foul, and it looks like, looks like they're going to call it on Dwayne Sutton. Take a look right here. Little isolation. Takes a little one on one. Snyder against Likes. Now let him use the great baseline as his buddy beats him to the baseline. Then he squares the body and knocks down the trifecta. He can block. He's a solid college player, Snyder. One of the aspects of Likes' game, he needs to improve. Only a 65% free throw shooter. He right. that one in and out. That's an area he's got to really work on because he's going to get fouled a lot with his quickness and his driving ability. Hey, only four schools. Think about this. Think about consistency. There's four schools that have won 20 games or more 15 straight years. It was Kansas. Duke. It was Duke. Not Saga. And who's number four? 
this team right here in black. Yes, sir. Louisville. Mr. Petito had that club year after year. Oh, there's an offensive, offensive foul. Snyder pushed lights away. And Jim Laranaga is looking for something more than just a personal foul. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that foul. He's See, looking for a flagrant one. I didn't think it was flagrant. I thought that he beat it to the spot. Yeah, Likes does that. Likes really does that with his quickness. He stayed right in front of him. Look right here. He's going to push you off, try to get there. Good call. No, no doubt it was a foul. Louisville, you know, five team fouls. Miami, none. You don't want to stand around right now. See, the zone makes you stand around a little bit. Makes you dribble, dribble, dribble like they're doing here. Brown over Mahmoud and the rebound to Louisville. Dang Adele kick to the corner and McMahon to Snyder who's feeling it not there and the rebound to Wardenberg Sam Wardenberg getting a lot of minutes tonight right here Sam is getting a lot of minutes tonight nice pass by him right there Lonnie buries it Lonnie's been terrific tonight Lonnie's showing all his skills tonight that people raved about when he came out of Reading home of the Reading Films Lonnie Walker doesn't want to lose. Dave Patrick very animated now on that bench. Good ball fake and the three comes up short. And you got a run out with Likes and Lonnie on the right wing. Launches another three. Just off and the place would have exploded if it went in. Padgett wants him to push it. They got to find the band for an open look. They got to give him some looks and just set the screen. Call for it. it. They got it and they missed it. Bonnie Walker adds to his rebound total. White steps into one. No. And too quick a shot. Yeah, he's got to understand a little bit more about shot selection. I think a lot of young kids coming out of the scholastic ranks that get away with a lot of that stuff. On the collegiate ranks, you can't give empty possessions. White's out of Mitchellville, Maryland. Good defense by Brown, but it will stay Louisville ball. It is Lonnie Walker, baby. He's got 18 thus far. Here he is right there with the trifecta. Nothing but nylon. Lonnie, look at him. Come on, Lonnie. Lonnie says he loves it. Look, look at that energy. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Welcome back, everybody. Carl Ravage, Dick Vitale, the Miami Hurricanes. And Dick, you talked about this at the top. Bruce Brown, when they win, he shoots well. When they don't, he doesn't, and tonight, he's 0 for 5. He's 0 for 5. Now look at this, 49% in all their wins, almost 50% in their losses, 26%. He was 11 for 42 in losses as Mahmoud scores on the inside. And here it is, he's 0 for 5, so that was 11 for 47 this one. Question is, will they be able to win? Lonnie Walker getting a little rushed right now. It's Both that... Brown and Walker on the bench right now. And how about Mahmoud, the development of that little left hand? That's the shot Cream said was big time. Newton, real tough, and that ball may have been deflected by Adele. They get another chance, and Lawrence throws a bad oh, pass. Bad pass right there. They got Adele with a layup. Good block by Wardenberg out of nowhere. Wardenberg with a tremendous defensive play. They had a simple layup, and he came out of nowhere to shut him down. Newton lost his footing for a second, and Likes got bumped by Dangadell. He created that foul. He did. His quickness creates that. English right here. Looks like he gave himself a layup right here. But he said, no, Sam, sudden Sam comes on the scene with a little BS, a little block shot. I'll tell you what uh, Sam does in a game and a play like that, you earn yourself more playing time, don't you? Absolutely. That's the way you get playing time, produce. I'll tell coaches how good you are, produce. You get minutes, produce. Have a better coach yet that doesn't want to win. If you play, he's going to play. Lawrence lost it on the way up, regained it, and here's Likes. Second effort, second opportunity, and they convert. Move all out to get that rebound, and they pay for it. Miami back on top with their two best scorers on the bench. Adele, no. Oh, oh what a rebound oh. and follow. The flush 
from Dwayne Sutton. Dwayne Sutton out of nowhere with that great offensive rebound. We got a good one, baby. Call your friends up. Don't leave. ACC action. Move only one loss in conference play. Only one unbeaten team. Virginia with that suffocating defense. Gives up 36 last night to Clemson. Uwe Zundu gets called for the illegal screen. A bump with man. That was a big couple of minutes for Miami as you take a look at Likes Barry the three. Terry Likes is something like a little power dunk from the offside. Jam City, baby, up, up, and away. They got some athletes, Louisville. Wayne Sutton out of Louisville, Kentucky, played his ball at Manual High School. we will be down to see Louisville against Virginia next week. I'll be with you. Are you coming down here too? I'll have a lot of fun down watching that pack line defense. I don't know if Louisville's going to have fun. No one has fun playing that defense. Oh, wow. so I asked both David and Coach Laranega about that. They just shook their head. You got such buy in from those kids on the defensive end. That's hard to do. They really buy it. Sloppy basketball right here. Sloppy turnovers. Turnovers. Dickie V, 1 a.m. tonight. Where are you going to be? 1 a.m. I'll be watching sports center. Are you boy? kidding me? I want to know what's going to happen with Celtics and the Clippers. I'm going to be doing a Clippers Celtic game in Boston. Oh, lucky you with Brad Stevens. Tiger Woods answers the questions, talks about his back, his health, and the comedian Gabriel Fluffy Iglesias will join the show. He'll be talking Spurs, Dodgers, and George Lopez. That's Sports Center 1 a.m. Eastern on the ESPN app as well. Sports Center at night with Stan and Neil and Dickie V. I can't wait and hope that Tiger comes back. What a lift he would give to golf big time. Anthony Lawrence picks up his second. He is one of those uh, game changers. When he's playing well, there's an interest. No doubt about big it. Big interest. People want to get to that TV too. It's like another game changer, but I think it's the Brady of the Patriots. I, knew you, I just knew oh, you were going there. Howie, come on. Because you were thinking, okay, greatest Tiger, maybe. Speaking of greatest of all time, you're Absolutely. going Tom Brady. I know you. Hey, I'm going to tell you this, man. When you can really have to admire guys that are consistent, like Federer in tennis. You think about LeBron all these years in basketball. You think about certainly Brady. It's not even debatable who's the greatest quarterback of all time. Let's get back to basketball, okay? It's basketball here, Carl. I'm with you. I don't want to talk about baseball, we're talking basketball. Walker back on the floor for Miami, and they survive with Walker, Huel, and Brown on the bench. And there's Huel going to work. Can't get it to go, and Mahmoud saves it. Under eight in a one-point game. Typical ACC action, man. You gotta come down and play, especially winning time. Make big plays. Wall of 33 has been a spark off the bench. He hasn't produced tonight, but he's got a very good outside shot. He's in the corner. Ian McMahon on the right side. Both can shoot it. Snyder throws it up. They're gonna call a foul on Anthony Lawrence. Snyder doing what you expect a veteran player to do. Make plays, keep it up to the score. Go to that free throw line. Don't go anywhere. All right, 7.27 to go. Louisville leading Miami 55-54. We got this flyer here from Vital, and now there are two red convertibles yeah. instead of just one. We're going to have two that we raffled off. One we sold out already, 1,500 chances, and now we got 250 left on the other one. Just go to DickVitalOnline.com. Hey, wait, wait, I want to give one to Jess. Jess is in the house. Mendoza right behind yeah, us. Yeah, right behind us, Jess Mendoza. She look good in that car. <laughs> she would look great in that car. Maybe I could get a little hitting lessons. I'm having a little tough time, Jess, with the curve wall. <laughs> What should I do on a curveball? <laughs> you and A-Rod, what a combination that's going to be. Just down here uh, doing a feature on Jose Altuve, which we'll see uh, when spring training begins. You got Eduardo Perez in the house, and they're watching a good game with seven minutes to go. Just a one-point advantage, a three-point advantage for Louisville. Oh, what a move by Huell down low to cut it to one. They do a great job with that play. That's about the fourth time we've seen them execute. Down the gut of the defense, two-man play, drop the bounce pass, and Ewell knows how to finish. Out of the timeout, too. Got to have a play out of a timeout. Don't That's you? your man. He's a heck of a coach. You don't coach as many years and not know the game. He knows what he's doing. Boy, oh, man. wow, wow. He nearly brought rain with that one. Yeah. And here's Brown blow by. Huell got fouled. 
on the floor. I thought we might have had a dunk coming up there, but Ewell got flipped by Mahmoud. That's not the shot that Ryan McMahon normally shoots, I can tell you that. I think he was shocked that he was that wide open. Call that foul on Jordan Wara, not Mahmoud, which is good for Louisville. You know, Warwick's a good shooter, as you mentioned. Yeah. Had a big game the last game, 15 points, came a little rebounded. He's going to be a very good player. They got some good young kids coming back. They got a kid sitting out, they rave about. Transfer from Connecticut, named Enoch. They really Steven like him. Enoch. Yep, yeah. Another 6'10 guy. Yeah, he can play, they say, really can play. What is going on in Connecticut? They're restless down there now. People get really upset. Well, McMahon fires again. That's a shooter mentality after an air ball. Launch yeah. another one. Walker. Oh, he went with the ball. Oh, what a play oh, by Lonnie. You gotta Walker. love. You gotta love that guy. Are you kidding me? We are seeing everything they've talked about with Lonnie Walker tonight. Five-star recruit out of Reading, Pennsylvania. And Miami on top. Spalding. He goes with his left, no good. Loose ball, Miami got it. Well, Miami got a little momentum right now. It's all created by the spark by Lenny Walker. A Lenny Walker shot. Newton. Oh, oh he himself. We need T.O., baby. Mr. Patrick with a quick T.O. They need that timeout. Miami on a 6-0 run to grab a three-point advantage. Here they are with their spurts. They're all about spurtability. Mark Kellogg's favorite turn, Spurtability. Here it is, Lonnie Walker. It's the Lonnie Show. He can bounce off that floor and cups it. He cupped it with he the cups light. It. Yes, sir. With a little old school Dr. J with the cup. And then a switch to the left. Dr. J, man. Look at Jimmy Lay. He's all fired up. Jimmy's all fired up. His beautiful wife, Liz and Jim, come every year to our gala. He talked about uh, you're going to do a Celtics game. Of course, Brad Stevens, the head coach oh, there, wow. and his son, Jim Laranega's son, on the coaching staff yeah, under yes. Stevens. Absolutely. What Brad Stevens, what a job. You know, I see not the same style of play. The certain styles are totally unique and different. But Tony Bennett's got a lot of Brad Stevens in him. Sure. And personality-wise, and attitude-wise, and philosophy of the game. But they're certainly different styles of play. Coach Larry Nagel was talking about uh, Dick Bennett and then the influence that he had on Tony Bennett. And he also brought up that name that you do know, uh, Barry Collier, of course, the Butler way. Yeah. And now the Butler way may have moved its way to Boston. Adele, great fake. Tremendous yeah. move right there by Adele. Do that little fake to create space and then the little jumper right in the lane. Get down a winning time, baby. Now you find out you separate guys that know how to win. Shot selection so big at this time. Nowhere to go for Newton. You got plenty of time on the shot clock at 12. Brown launches a three, never on target. He is really struggling shooting the ball here tonight. Is he still over? Yep, 0 for 6. Nice drive right there by Snyder. They come back with two big baskets, two veteran players, Adele and Snyder. One thing Dave Patch's kids don't do, they don't panic. And he's got to play with poise when things go bad. That's Santa coaching as well. It'll be interesting to see if Likes comes back in in crunch time with under four to go. Well, they stay with Jafar Newton, control. who's out of control. And out of control. Nope, they're going to say it went off Spalding. It'll stay Louisville ball. Got a little lucky there, but that was totally out of control. Take a look at Mr. Steiner right here. There he is, driving. with the right hand, lays it up on the glass. And then right here, watch this play by Adele. Now watch this. Can I create space for the little ball fake? Adele's got a dozen. We're back to live action. And Lonnie Walker. Oh, oh. my! He is feeling it! Lonnie Walker. You see the star is born, baby. He really born tonight. If they have not seen him, I've seen him tonight. Dang, Adele got fouled. Lonnie Walker's torn meniscus back in July. It took him a while to feel confident, but this is the move towards the ceiling that Jim Laranaga and so many others talk about. You can see now what he's got yeah, you in can his see game. Here. They could build off this. Unbelievable. A star is born. The Lonnie Show.
ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Voya Financial, helping you to and through retirement. And Sport Clips Haircuts. Check in online now. Visit sportclips.com slash check in. Nagadell will shoot a couple of free throws as we're back. Florida State got a win tonight over Georgia Tech, so they move up a spot. Now Miami finds themselves at three and three, and obviously with a chance here tonight. Louisville second in the conference five and one. Louisville's got to go to Virginia next Wednesday, and we'll have that game for you. Well, look at Virginia up there, unblemished. Louisville loses here, and open up that gap. Virginia's got a date with Duke, though. Offense versus defense. Saturday. It's going to be great. Yep. It'll be an interesting one. It's uh, that Saturday. And Virginia back home for Louisville on Wednesday. Two that zone right now. Good matchup. Walker had nowhere to go. He gets it to Newton, and we're going to get a foul on the floor. A little bit of an act there from Dang Adele. Hi, Dick. Saturday, you're going to be there at noon. We got that Florida Baylor, and we'll kick things off after that. The 215 game. That's Oklahoma, Alabama. And A&M and number five Kansas, I cannot, given what they did to West Virginia in the first game, and I get the suspensions, but they're all back. A&M has been really a hustling team. And then Kentucky and West Virginia at seven. Don't forget college game day there, the primetime game at seven. It's all on ESPN and the ESPN app. I tell one thing Bob Huggins, he better get into the Hall of Fame. He deserves it, no question, over 800 wins. Just they've done a great job at the Mountaineers. That's going to be a real test for Kentucky because they get after it down there with the pressure defense. Newton into double digits. He has 10. Three and a half to go. Snyder saw a lane, took advantage of it, and lays it up and in. He's a real good driving player. He knows how to find angles. Straight drive to that goal. He knows how to find angles and utilize them really well. Senior has 16 in the game. They're going to match up on Walker because he is feeling it. It makes him special. He can throw it. He's streaky, but he can make the three and he can explode to the goal with his athleticism. Brown, he goes, and that shot was blocked. He got five on the shot clock, and McMahon comes up with it. Brown is really having a tough, tough night. Remember we said, they usually don't win when he has a tough night. And he is having a tough night tonight. Hasn't made a basket yet. He's 0 for 7, yep. isn't he? 0 for 7. 11 for 42 and a four losses, and the win shoots 50%. Snyder, alley oop oh. and a great play to Mahmoud. Again, what is the common denominator? Both veteran players, both understanding how to play. Good basketball IQ right there by Snyder. Excellent. Good timeout by Jim Laranega, but a solid play by the veteran point guard. Some of those great Connecticut championship teams had huge shot blocking numbers, and they always had a terrific point guard. Something about this Louisville team, not putting him in the same class as some of those guys that led Connecticut to championships. you got a senior point guard, and you block everything at the rim. Yeah, he's really good. There's no question. But Kemba Walker, and Eddie Beer, and those guys were special. Yeah. So senior point guard finding Mahmoud there, and that has now given them a one-point lead. And if you want to win in college basketball, you've got to be solid at the guy that's the orchestra leader, the guy that's set the tone at that point guard slot. You know, you mentioned the one game here, Alabama and Oklahoma. What's common there? Two of the great high school players who came to the college game, Sexton yep. and Trey Young. Yep. Trey Young's my choice right now, player of the year. I can't see him losing it unless he really goes into a nose dive. And if he loses it, he loses it to, to who? Does Bagley make a big push? Well, Bagley's certainly in the running right now. There's so much basketball yet to be played. I know, people lose sight yeah. of that. They really do. I mean, we're getting into all already, you know, bracketology, here's the deck. <laughs> Every day it changes, man. It's what the people want. They want it, but they like seeing it. They like hearing recruiting news, too. He was looking for a spot to join. Ronnie Walker, that one's off, and he had Mahmoud there to disrupt it. He is not what you call a good long-range shooter. He's a very streaky shooter. He is a terrific attacker to the ring off the bounce. Switching on defense. Brown with Adele. Step back. Short. And oh, he gets the deflection. 
And he can't get the layup to go, but Spalding deflected away. Spalding had a chance, an opportunity right there. Came up empty. Has a step back. Now he comes back with the ball. He's going to attack the rim. Can't get the good angle. The way he made that drive. And right there, the ball goes out. A lot of hustle, man. Diving, hustling. Kids doing it all. Doing it all. She's not selling big popcorn right now. <laughs> David Padgett. He's got his troops around him as they're reviewing who that ball went off of. Very important call right here. But you know what's really amazing? You play, you sweat, you bust your gut. And now it comes to the last minute 44 where one is going to walk off the coach, one is smile and jubilant, and the other one is going to be down. There is no different coaching. You either high or you're low. Very rarely you're in the middle, like we are in the world of television. He played for the University of Louisville from 05 to 08. He is second in career field goal percentages at the school. Padgett's team has won some close games here lately as we take another look at who this ball deflected off of. What do you say? You got two eyes. Come on, Alcon. I got one eye. I can't see it. Well, you can't tell. It was Walker who hit it last, but I can't tell if it deflected off the leg of Spalding or not. You got to be deft with your decision here to make that change. They're going to give it to Louisville and say it did not deflect off the leg of Spalding. David Patchett started out his career at Kansas. If he didn't have knee injuries, he would be even way better than what he was. Not the most out of his talent and ability, but he was injured quite a bit. He's doing a heck of a job stepping in in that Louisville situation. Ryan McMahon back on the floor. You can tell a lot about who the coaches want on the floor, who they like in crunch time. He grabbed McMahon, put him back in the game, and it's kind of interesting that we haven't seen Chris Likes at all down the stretch. You've seen Jim Laranega stick with the group that's on the floor now. He's going with the veterans instead of the young kid. Right now, it's all about shot selection. Knowing what's a good shot. This guy Newton, senior on senior with Snyder out there. That ball was deflected, so no backcourt there. And McMahon, seven on the shot clock. He got stuck in the air and got bailed out by Adele. That's a tough shot. And look at Walker go up and grab the rebound, and now tough, they're trying to run it. Tough shot right there by Adele to take that shot in that sequence. Oh, good defensive play. Good defensive play. Jaquan Newton lost the ball on the way up. Now he put the ball in the hands of the veteran. He's going to get that ball in the hands of Snyder. A nice entry by McMahon. What a shot by Spalding. A nice entry, good 45 degree angle. Spalding with the conversion. Good look by McMahon to get the ball inside. Now you get down to defense. Will they win their fifth in a row? Louisville. And go to six and one in conference if they can get a victory. 20 on the shot clock. Newton trying to drive Mahmoud. No good. Rebound. Brown, he'll go up with it. He'll oh, get it to go. He finally gets his first deuce. What an acrobatic shot by Brown. Bruce Brown with a score. His first field goal with 31 seconds to go in the game. Talented player, no question. A talented player. He's had a lot talent. We got to go back to the studio. Here's Adnan. Adnan. All right, Robbie, I just want to tell you the women's semis are coming up in the Australian Open. Caroline Wozniacki against Elise Mertens will be the first one. Also, Simona Halep versus Angelique Kerber. So great tennis is coming up. You know, I can't wait, Robbie. Federer, Friday, 33 a.m. in the men's semis as well. Back to you and Dick. Yeah. I see you live watching all the tennis action. That a boy. What a game and what a shot from Brown. But we'll start with Spalding. And boy, Ray Spalding is making himself a first round pick. Now, Ray Spalding's a guy with a lot of talent, veteran player. Nice entry by McMahon. He gets the ball in deep. Nice little turn, jump hook in the lane. And then Miami with the offensive rebound. And he's nice. He's second. You got to get that ball if you lose, though. You get that opportunity. And there's a little acrobatic shot by Brown. That's his first conversion from the field thus far today. Right down to the wire. Louisville, one of the better free throw shooting teams in the country. And they will have their free throw shooters on the floor just in case. Miami is not. They're a 64% free throw shooting team. 
So it's nice when you get guys who can make free throws, even though Louisville's not shot well at all tonight. Yep. Miami has 60%, but it be in a lot better shape. They can take this all the way down if they wanted to, and they're going to get Newton to foul Snyder. It's not a good free throw shooter. Didn't want to waste any time. Want to get the ball back. Oh, they got plenty of fouls yeah, to get. Yeah, plenty of fouls to get, so they can do that. Takes a little time off the clock, though, for Louisville. Got to protect the basketball now. If you're moving, got to step to the ball. Can they guys run away from the ball? You got to step to it. Wardenberg back in the game for Miami. Well, he's getting valuable playing time. 16 foul. Next one in the bonus. Yep. Here we go. Now you play defense. 28 on the shot clock. You know, it's a big difference in game the see If they lose this game, Louisville. They got him tied up. They got him tied up. And the possession arrow oh. is Miami's. The tied up at man. Big play by Miami right there, tied up at Bay. Lonnie Walker got right involved, and the tie-up gives the ball back to the Canes. Good substitution right there. Take the man out, let him sit on the side a little bit. Recoup, bring in a little bit more size and speed on the defensive end. And Walker wants that ball. Walker wants that ball. Newton driving. No good. And the rebound by Boo. That wasn't close. And there was no foul. How many times have we seen Newton attack the rim and then score one brick after another? He didn't do that last year. Kim Brown, by the way, is an outstanding player. He's had a tough night here, but he's an outstanding player. He's doing attacks the rim and then he just throws it up. He's in great position to score right there. It's all about angles. You've got to have good angles on your try. He lost a little bit of the control of the ball going up, but when you're one of the best shot blocking teams in the country, when you drive, that's at least in the back of your head, and there Absolutely. was no foul. That's a good point, Carl. No question about it. Now Mahmoud is two for two from the line, gets the friendly roll. And Louisville is right now number two in the nation blocking shots. Number one is the Spartans of Michigan State and Tom Izzo's kids. Now we're going to decision making. Oh. Nope, you only need two. Yep. I was going to say decision making made that. But Lonnie shoot Walker. The free. Uh oh. Is it... Lonnie Walker driving. Oh! oh what a are shot. you kidding me? Hanging in the air. Incredible what a play. shot. Incredible. A lot of time left, though. They're going to not celebrate too soon. Four point eight is a lot of time on the clock. We've seen him go with his right and switch to his left, and now we've seen him drive to the left and shoot with the right. Incredible. We're seeing this kid demonstrate today some versatility <laughs> and skills. I mean, that is incredible. Try to match that play in the game of horse. Look at this. You've got to have great body control. There was a guy down in North Carolina. I he there's a little do, bit of that there. Yeah, yeah, he used to do this kind of stuff. They Michael the Magnificent, Mr. Jordan. Saw that cup earlier with the right oh, hand. Oh, look at that play. Incredible. Now you gotta uh, you gotta make sure right here to understand this time to get a good shot. The entry of the pass is gonna be a king. No fouls to give. His career high in points is 26. He's got 25 tonight. And they needed every one of them to be where they're at right now. Every one of them is clutch. Clutch. You're Miami, you're six and one at home. The only loss at home is the Duke with a 13 point lead. You don't want this to go to the L column. No timeouts left. And no fouls to give. You gotta get the ball in the hands of who? Well, right now. He's got basically, he's got Snyder and McMahon getting two ball handlers on. You got to make sure you don't foul if you're Miami as well. You've got to get the ball to Snyder here, don't you? Yeah, I'm a production, absolutely. So I would like to get it too. They're going to play him tough, though. Oh, they got it to him. Oh, Adele, no. a bad pass. He's got it off. No! Just off the iron. And we'll go to overtime. A little OT here. Usually the home club gets the advantage in overtime. Tough pass from Snyder to Adele, which got him off balance. He was able to settle himself and got a decent look. Tough. 
tough look. That's a long way. Baby. Yeah, no, it's tough. That's Hail Mary all the way. That's Hail Mary all the way. You're praying. Wow. He was drifting to his left, and the shot ended up drifting a little to his left. Time out here. We'll come back with overtime. Unbelievable. Welcome back, everybody, and we are in overtime. And you're watching the overtime presented by Five Hour Energy. Still blown away by the body control of Lonnie Walker as he made that bucket with about four seconds to go, switching to his right hand and seemingly hanging in the air forever. Yeah, those are the things you can't teach. And we've heard all about the accolades, about him coming out of high school, and you're seeing tonight why. Tonight you get a glimpse of this young guy here, number four, who's been absolutely super scintillating super sensational. He's been the free S man. Louisville one and one in overtime games. They had a double overtime game last week. They beat Notre Dame. A tremendous win for them. And the Miami's first overtime game of the season. Oh, the Irish really kind of tough losing Bonzi Colson. Yeah. That's such a major loss. Just like right now, Clemson losing the kid Grantham. You don't replace those kind of players. He's David Badger said, gee, I'm gonna hurt my money here. He's gonna relax, take a little golf in the mouth, sit next to Coach Johnson. Time. 33 and 3 in their last 36 games at home. You know, it's a great stat though. Louis was 30 and 17 on the road in conference play with a 60 plus percent over the last few years. It's unbelievable. Defense wins on the road, doesn't it? Absolutely. You gotta play defense, you have no chance. Six on the shot clock, and Newton has the ball with McMahon causing some problems. He's gonna have to shoot it. McMahon rebound, oh. Newton right to him. And they'll reset. Now they got an advantage with McMahon out of play. So look out, look Lonnie Walker. Oh, my goodness. Almost got that to go, and he lost it on the way up. They had three opportunities there, and they didn't convert. Adele, that's a foul on Walker. Good call. Now you get that free throw shooting becomes so big. Every point is golden. You know, reason is big, too, for conference play for Louisville. If you're going to hang tough with a chance to catch Virginia, you can't afford to lose this game. Because now you're going to be playing Virginia next week. Yep. At Virginia. And you're going to hope that Duke knocks them off Saturday night, which is possible, obviously. They're struggling from the free throw line tonight. Adele, a good free throw shooter, but it rolls out. He's at 79%. They are struggling as a team tonight. They really have hurt themselves big time on the charity strike, Louisville. And all year, they've been very good. The freshman Chris Likes, who played a big role, has stayed on the bench here for most of the second half, and now the overtime. He's decided to play the veterans instead. Lonnie Walker, step back. No good, and no one there to grab it. Offensive rebound, so the See, offense was stagnant. As a coach of the opposing team, to Walker, I take my chances of him shooting the perimeter shot and not let him attack off the bounce. Adele may have gotten away with a walk, and that's Mahmoud, and he misses a little left-handed bunny. Got a scorer there. That lane's wide open. He knows that he's a little frustrated there, missing that easy shot. Patience, really important now. Patience, poise, looking for good shots. Shot selection is so important at this time. Bruce Brown, long three, no good. So that wasn't a good shot. That's back-to-back -back three point efforts. He was challenged. Snyder, ooh. Brown gets called for the foul, and Quentin Snyder is going to go to the strike. Third foul on Brown. See right here, a spin in the lane. And there's the bump. There's the grab right there. Snyder, the veteran, goes for the charity strike. Nice smooth delivery right there. One of the better free throw shooters in the country, 87%. He's a guy you want on the line if you're David Padgett. Put him on the line all day. First two points of overtime go to Louisville. 
Last two trips, they've set up for three pointers. Yeah, what was challenged? You don't want challenge shots now. You want shots that you've got really a great look at the goal. Fuel. Blocked by Mahmoud, one of the best in the country. You got a new shot clock, which should not have started. Oh, and they're going to figure yes, that sir. out. They reset the shot clock. Should never be set. And it should never have been no, reset. Should never have been reset. They're going to look at that. That ball was blocked by Mahmoud, and they reset the shot clock. I'll tell you what, they love the intensity on that floor, though. You can feel it. Kids really play it hard. It's what we love about it. Kids play it with some pride and passion. Try to bring honor to the name of that jersey, in front of that jersey. So right there, there's three seconds left from the shot clock, and another shot was yeah. blocked. Then they reset it for some reason. Maybe they are bell vote south this right here. Pretty good job officiating here tonight. Really doing a solid job. Mike Eads, Tim Nestor, and Jeff Clark are officials tonight. Unbelievable. Now, if you're just turning on right now, waiting for the tennis, we'll get you to Australia in just a moment. But you're uh, witnessing one of the great coming out parties, and that oh, particular shot wow. by Kalani Walker wow. at the five-second mark of regulation to tie this game up. What an unbelievable balance. What balance. Look at his dramatic shot, trying to win it. Hail Mary all the way. Really had no shot going in, but that Walker shot. The balance involved is incredible to be had. So what do you do here, Dick, with the seven ties and 13 lead changes? Wow. Snyder with 18 and Walker 25. What do you think the amount of time is going to be on the clock, and is Louisville going to get the ball, given would, that their second shot was blocked with almost no time left on the shot clock? I would think the ball goes to Louisville. I really do. And if you're Louisville, you want to get the ball in the hands of Snyder. Good things happen if he does. Look at the seven ties, 13 lead changes. Incredible. So you're, ta you're taking the ball away from Miami because their second block shot was with about one second yeah, left. I thought so. Did you? Oh. First shot know. was blocked with about five. Then the second one was blocked with about one. So I don't know that they would have much time at all if they gave the ball to Miami. And I'm sure that's what they're looking at with the clocks. That's why they're over there. That's why they get paid for that. Take a look right here. They're going to bring the coaches together as we're watching the replay, but you'll see this shot get blocked with what will ultimately look like there will be two seconds left on the clock. Here comes the explanation. Shot clock reset to soon. Yep. And it should have been a shot clock violation of 224. That's what we'll have a shot clock violation. All right, so it'll be Louisville balls, which just explained to us there would have been a yeah, shot clock shot. violation at two minutes and 24 seconds on the clock. Yep, see? That's a right call right there. No doubt it's a shot clock situation where they really played them tough right there. So Louisville has the ball and a two-point lead with 224 in overtime. And you got to make sure the ball goes in the hands of your catalyst, your point guard, your veteran, your really terrific free throw shooter, Stein. He set the clock too soon. Quentin Snyder has been really good here late in the second half and in overtime, 18 points in the game. He's been there. The only games he's played of this magnitude, he's experienced. Look at the great teams in the country right now, many of them being led by veteran teams. Oh. The alley -oop. Oh. and good defense by Brown, but it goes back to Slide Louisville. back with go. That baby was telegraphed. He had a set play up, but it was telegraphed. Nowhere to go, so he throws it up, and wow. Ewell takes it down. Wow, not a good play by the veteran right there. Sloppy play thus far in the overtime by both sides. No real rhythm going on. Well, there's been very little runouts. It's all been half-court offense. Mahmoud, another block. He is some shot blocker. One of the best in the nation. As another example, his timing, his rhythm he has to block his shots. That's a great dimension to have as a team. They block seven shots a game, second in the nation. It's fourth of the night. Adele in and out. And somehow Lonnie Walker oh, holds it. Oh, bounce pass to that's Brown. A run out right there. And a flush. Yep. Great play by Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker created that layup. 
Oh, the jumping joy on that play. They're going to check on Ray Spaulding to make sure he's all right. He may have gotten hit in the mouth. Mike Eads just wanted to take a quick look, but watch Walker first the rebound, then the yeah, bounce pass. Well, look, Walker made a great play here. Certainly has the layup in the dunk right here, but it was Walker that created that. Great awareness, what's happening. He's a big time player. There's no doubt he will be playing at the next level. Deflected and stolen oh. by Jaquan Newton. Newton with a good defensive play. Takes that possession away from Louisville. Now you got to make sure you're Jimmy Larry Davis' team. You get the shot you want. Oh. Huel there looking for an offensive goaltending. Paget's incensed, but no call. Wow, that was close. That was close. That was close. Paget very upset. You have to look at that baby, it was close. Remember you can't get that ball on the cylinder. You can't play with it up there. You can't play with it. Well, let's take a look at it. Did Huel get this inside the cylinder or was it out? It was out. That was close. close. Was Both of close. his plays have been very close. I mean, it's tough. They're going to make that call instantaneously. We're going to replay it. We can't even tell. Here it comes. Now watch us. I think that one's still on the rim, and I thought the first one wasn't. It's really close. And they call the first one goaltending, and this one they don't. Wow. Well, in any event, the home team has got a two-point lead with 35 to go. And then, anyway, as well, nobody blocked out on Yule. Right. They allowed him to go right to the lane, and that's what he does exceptionally well. I'm sure all the scouting reports, scouting reports, I'm certainly had to tell him that this guy, you got to block him out. Lonnie Walker, 25 points tonight, and his acrobatic layup at the end of regulation. Watch him switch to his right hand and hang in the air for forever. How many guys that can do that, man? Have that kind of balance and agility, mobility. We have seen the coming out party of a star who's been born wearing the Miami uniform. That tied it up. Adele couldn't hit the prayer. And then in overtime, he grabs the rebound with the left, spins without traveling, and a great bounce pass. And there's the bounce pass right on the money for the layup. Talked about how so much of the offense in the overtime has been the half court variety. They would much rather get out and run. His vision set up that dunk. It's a big game. I know one thing. Hey, who do you think Virginia's chair for tonight? You better believe they're hoping they get their second loss. Abbott's getting ready for Australia. I want to go to Australia. I love tennis. You, you do love tennis. Let's I go love to tennis. Go ahead, Adnan. <laughs> Got you guys, Ravi. Caroline Wozniak on the verge of another final. The women's semi versus the Belgian Elise Mertens is coming up next. And then later after that, Simona Halep, Angelique Kerber. Can't wait for that. Great night of Aussie Open action. A couple of tennis aficionados, Ravi and Dick. Here's the good news. You, could, you Dick, when you get back to the room tonight, after you, I know you're going to go out, grab a little bike to eat. Your wife, Lorraine, is here. You're going to grab a bike. Yeah, we're going to go to South Beach, right on of course South you are. Beach. And then you can settle into, like, tennis until the sun comes up. Absolutely. So you got all that? That's yeah. you tonight. I will do that. I'm going to go to a hotel down in South Beach where we're staying. I will watch some tennis tonight. No, but well, what do people say when they see you? Like, <laughs> like Dick Vitale at 1 a.m. on South Beach. Well, i got to make sure I'm drinking my cranberry juice, too. <laughs> All right, my friend, two-point game. It's been close all the game throughout. And now Louisville down two with the ball. Defensive stop right here is a bust. Uh, is a tough, tough shot. shot. Brown may have deflected wow. it. Bad shot right there. Good defense by Bruce Brown. He may have deflected that one. And he'll go to the line to shoot free throws, a 63% free throw shooter. Well, he can make this really difficult big time for Louisville here. Louisville, I think I'd like to have that possession back. You know, 
17. This is a must win for you for Miami. These are must free throws, both of them. First one is nylon. Now the big one, which make it a two possession game. Yeah, this is major right here. This is major. He converts this. It's going to be tough for Louisville. That one was way off. And they come up with the oh. Miami rebound. Jaquan Newton gets it. And nobody blocks out. The simplicity of a block out on the charity strike lane. Those little fundamentals come back to haunt you. To haunt you. Wow. They get the mystery throw. And they don't block out. Go for the ball. You got to get your man, get the guy in that lane, put a body on him. Jaquan Newton makes it a four-point game. It was such a bad free throw. The rebound was so far from the basket that the guys that did box out close to the basket did their job. It was the secondary yeah, box out. Absolutely. And a big conversion here. Padgett for sure will be thinking about the fuel rebound Another that went in. No, nope, they're going to call a foul, and that's a tough play. A hustle foul, but it stops the clock and gives Louisville free throws. Yeah, you don't want to do that. That is a silly play. You even put yourself in that kind of position to stop the clock and give them a chance for points on the board. Anthony Lawrence with the foul. He's a veteran player. He's got no better than that. Jordan Wara goes to the free throw line, a 71% free throw shooter, and Wara hasn't shot much at all tonight, but a sign of a good shooter buries the first. Well, I just brought him in for some offense here. He's capable of shooting the three. That was his first shot attempt of any kind tonight. Second free throw. It's a costly foul by... Miami allows them to cut it to two and have no time taken off on the clock. But now you got to try to get that ball back. If you don't, make a deflection or a steal. You got a foul and hope they miss free throws. It's that right now. Charity strike. You make free throws, you win the game in Miami. Unbelievable. It's been a fun game. It sure has. Fun game. The teams are now out of timeouts. There may be some folks at home saying, why don't we put a ball handler like likes into the game? Yeah, well, he the, handles the ball really well. He also is not a great free throw shooter. Yeah. Plus, a little erratic, too, at times. You know, he's still a young kid learning how to play. Jimmy has decided not to go with likes. He's playing the other veteran players. I'll tell you what, I am just in awe of what I witnessed here thus far tonight of Lonnie Wood. I mean, not just the score of the points. The way he scored, his body control. Yeah, the athleticism. Oh, yeah. she blows you away. You can't teach that, Carl. You can't teach that. There he is, the kid from Reading, Pennsylvania. Just a freshman, had a torn meniscus and surgery in July. And a leader on the floor and off the floor. The inbounds for Miami, underneath their own basket. But if he wants to make sure that's all clear on the side here. Hewell has it, and he's got to get rid of it, and he waited. Instead, he'll get fouled, and Hewell will go to the free throw line, a 69% free throw shooter. Now, if you're Louisville, you got to remind them you Dave Padgett, block out on this charity strike. Block out. Somebody's got to get the shooter as well. Hewell tonight, two for three from the charity strike. Two out of three, did they say? Pete Loaf says it's pretty good. Two out of three is not that bad. Two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> I made a mistake one day with that shooter. I said two out of three. I said meatballs. I said meat <laughs> Oh, oh no. he yeah. gets the bounce. You're talking about getting a lucky break. That's how you go 33 and three in your last 36 at home. Rims were smiling on him. This is another big one here to make it a two possession game. And if you look at the right here, he misses. You're going to go out and look at go three ball. You're Miami. You can't let him shoot the three ball. Let him take some time off and not allow him to shoot that three ball. Like we saw in the Oklahoma game, the Oklahoma State, right. yeah. giving him that three, cost him that game. 
Louisville has not made a two-point basket in the overtime, just four free throws, and now they're down by four. McMahon, oh, a delayed call, and we're going to have a three-shot foul. Four-point difference, though, is big. 11.9. I think Padgett may have influenced this call. No, 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 no. I mean, do you call this series? Get Padgett a little coaching there. A little coaching spell. He didn't spell. There's no doubt he didn't spell. It I mean, did look like Newton hit him on the arm. And now McMahon's got to make all three. And he misses oh. the first. Had a chance to make it a one point game. Much better shooting than what we saw here tonight on Ryan McMahon. Trust me, I've seen this kid shoot. 87% from the line, and he makes the second. An 87% free throw shooter from the line is Ryan McMahon. He's had a lot of family and friends here. <clears throat> he drove up from Sarasota to see a play. I need mean, a little pressure he put on himself. Who's going to foul right away, trying to steal. Oh, it's that's Brown. a dangerous pass. They're going to get the foul on the floor before the bucket. Bruce Brown's going to go to the free throw line, and he is only a 63% free throw shooter. Tell you one thing, he can make up for having a bad night, just convert these, and they're pretty, they're, I would say, great, great shape. He makes these two. First free throw of the night, not good. Wow. Way short. So now you got to think immediately of Jimmy Laranega. He converts here. You can't let them shoot the three. And they got a couple three-point guys they put on the floor who can shoot the three But now. you can't foul them either. No. no. Oh, Second, wow. no good. A two will tie it. And they got time to do it. Snyder in the corner. McMahon, that's blocked by Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker. Who else would block star. the shot? Unbelievable. Lonnie Walker, he's been the star tonight, baby. He has been the star. Defense, offense, rebound, there he is. Great block, no doubt about it. Look at that after the elevation. The elevation, unbelievable. Newton's free throw, that misses. So 2.4, he's got to make this or a three-pointer would win it for Louisville. It would have to be a dramatic three. Christian Leitner style here, maybe. Dang it, Dell, there's nobody here to guard him. Oh, it's high off the wow. backboard, and that will do it. Miami picks up another win at home. Lonnie Walker, a superstar performance with his 25 points. And he was four of eight from deep. For our entire crew and my good buddy Dick Vitale, we'll see you next week in Virginia. The Australian Open comes up next. And thank you very much for watching. We say so long for Miami. I'm Carl Ravitch. We send it now to Melbourne.